Hello, welcome to Better View Image. In this video, we're going to show you how to get the text you're showing for lyrics and Bible verses live over to your video stream. We're going to use this, we're going to do this using vMix, uh, which is one of our favorite video programs. And the setup here is very quite simple. What we go do is go into Better View Image on our text out and tell it where to save the text. So we're going to go to our computer, drive E, and I have a directory here called text out. So we'll hit OK for that. And that is going to be our destination. Just close and that's saved. Now if we look in that directory right now, drive E, text out, we'll see that nothing is there at this point in time. But if we open up our Bible, and pick a scripture, then going back to our directory and doing a refresh, we see that we now have the text out created, which is a straight text document, and web out, which is uh, for HTML formatted, same information in both. So it's as simple as that to create an output. Now, what we need to do is go over to vMix on a different virtual computer and uh, do the import. And now for part two, which is getting that live text feed into our video stream. What we need to do first is connect to the data file. So we're going to do the hamburger menu down here. Click on that. We have data sources manager. We're going to add a data source, which is text, uh, and browse for a file name. So in our directory structure, we've got our virtual shared directory, text out and there is our text out one data file we will pick that and we're going to call this uh, live text feed you can call it anything that you want as long as it makes sense to you and there we are there's our text already our update is every 1000 milliseconds which is once a second we're going to speed that up a little bit and say every tenth of a second or 100 milliseconds so there's our data feed connected. Now we need to create how we're going to show that data. So we go into the vMix title editor. We're going to create a new title, which is 1920 by 1080, which is uh, HD. Add a text. And here's our blank text up here. We're going to bring it down to the bottom of the screen, stretch the text box all the way to the other side and we're going to change things a little bit stroke thickness of two uh, outline is black and text color we're going to have white so we have white text with a black outline we're going to increase the font size a bit from 64 to 72 and you don't have to worry about the height of the text box because that will adjust automatically so now we're going to save that and in our documents folder and we're going to call that um, live text one let's minimize that now we need to add our that as an input when, as you can see vmix has done a wonderful job selecting all sorts of inputs here they have fantastic titles that you can use but we are doing our own special one, so we go into Documents, Live Text 1, open that up, and there's our Live Text 1. Select that. Now we have to connect our text to the data source, so we click on Data Source here. Live Text Feed, which is what we called it. Uh, table is Text, Column is Auto, we can change that to Text if we want, uh, because again it's just straight text, and OK, and OK. And there we have our live text. Now to put it over our live picture, we just click on overlay one here. And as you can see, it goes over our live output. And whatever we're doing on our video, we'll be able to see the live output on top of it. Now as you can see in most of the slides, it's a little bit hard to see. So we're going to create another, um, another uh, title and this time we're going to have a background now unfortunately you can't have uh, its 
order is as you create it. So we're going to add the image first and go to our shared directory. We have something called lower thirds which was created just as a faint blue as you can see. Now we're going to add the text here. Again drag it down to the top of our area. Expand it to the full width again we're going to say we want a size of 72 uh, stroke thickness here of 2 again you can play around with these settings and do anything that you want with it um, and we're going to change again the color to white so we have again white text with a black outline on the blue background here uh, now we could we could have used the background image here too so we're going to save this as Go to Documents, we'll call this Live Text 2, and save. So now let's add that as an input so we can see what the difference is here. Uh, again, we go to the titles, go to Browse, pull up Live Text 2, Live Text 2, and again we have to connect this to the data source, which is our Live Text feed, text text and OK. So now we have our second one. As you can see it's got a blue background to it so when we click on this we have our other overlay and we're going to put that on the live screen and there we are. So again no matter that aids in your uh, visibility quite a lot in the text. Again it's not showing up well here but it normally you can see things very clearly. So just So we can show you how the uh, background image works properly. We're going to browse, pick our lower thirds image. That now becomes our background. And again, you can use any image that you want. We're going to drop our text so that it's fully within our light blue area here. And we're going to save that again. So this replaces what we had. But now we need to update our live text here. Um, and the easiest way to do, do that is just close it and add it again. So we'll close our Live 2 as well. Add input, title, browse, pick our Live Text 1, which now has our blue, light blue background. Again, data source, Live Text feed all to text. You can see it coming in. Hit OK and close this and now we have again our live background with our text back. And just to prove if we go to our better view image and pick a short verse and then back to our vmix you can see that the title here has changed so it is live it is, happens as you change your titles uh, if we pick anything that we want here when it's sent to the front screen it is also sent to your live text feed over your video well that's it for this video thank you very much for watching have yourselves a great day bye